welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing this uh, Palmetto State Armory rifle bill kit. Um, it's a nice little setup. So first things first, let's clear uh, the rifle. That's nothing. Run save, we're ready to go. Okay. Uh, so you guys might be wondering what I just did right now when I separated the upper and the lower. So this is what is considered a maglock rifle in the state of California. So basically, uh, in order to release the magazine, if you guys can see right here, I'm pressing the mag release, it's not gonna come out. So in order to release the magazines, you gotta be uh, breaking the action open. So the upper and the lower receiver need to um, be broken up, separate them. So by doing this, I press the king pin on the side, the uh, AR mag lock and it's good to go that's out so that's the only way that you can do it uh, uh, with this kind of setup I'm able to uh, keep the pistol grip adjustable stock if I wanted to I could have a uh, vertical foregrip and I also have a flash hider so uh, if you you know were to compare it to say uh, the AR9 that we introduced in the first video this one has a featureless grip that's a fixed stock. I cannot have a vertical foregrip. I can have a uh, either a hand stop or a, an angle foregrip, but not a vertical foregrip. Um, and then on the muzzle device, you cannot have a flash hider, but you're allowed to have a muzzle brake or a compensator. Uh, but if you were to get one of those, it cannot be advertised as having uh, flash hiding capabilities. So that's one of the things with that. So let's go over some of the specs on this rifle and what you get for it. So the, uh, the kit comes with the complete upper receiver. It comes with the lower parts kit. It comes with the uh, magma furniture, stock, pistol grip, uh, the uh, uh, backup iron sights from Magpul. Um, so let's go from uh, front to back. Uh, this one comes with your standard A2 flash hider. Uh, nothing crazy, you know, it does a pretty good, good job of mitigating uh, flash. Also, it does, you know, help you with some, um, some compensating like a compensator since it doesn't have any ports on the bottom. So that's good. This one is a 16 inch pencil uh, barrel and uh, it is chamber in 5.56. Uh, so it is pencil, pencil barrel is pretty light, pretty lightweight. Um, it is a little bit skinnier right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right there. So the one thing with that is that, you know, the barrel does get hot um, a little bit faster when you're uh, shooting. However, because it does get uh, hot faster, it does cool down a little bit faster as well. So, I mean, kind of has its pros and cons. Uh, this one comes with a free floating uh, handguard and it does have uh, M lock slots on the sides, both sides. On the bottom, it has a Picatinny rail on the top, all the way to the, uh, to the beginning of the upper receiver. Um, I believe these are uh, uh, slots for QD sling points. Not too sure, but I believe they are. This one doesn't come with the uh, enter rotation tabs. I will go a little bit uh, further into that and to what happened after I got the kit and I went to go shoot it the first time. Uh, the upper receiver, 7075 T6 aluminum. So mil spec in that regard. It is not T marked as you guys can see right there. Uh, so nothing crazy in here. Uh, it comes with your mil spec uh, charging handle. Uh, the bull carrier group, it is a uh, full auto profile. So, um, if you guys are in a free state and you guys have, uh, you know, the auto sears, you guys are able to do that. Uh, the lower parts kit, you know, no spec in that regard, but it does come with uh, PSAs and hands polish trigger, so a bit of a step up as far as trigger goes compared to, you know, your standard mil spec trigger. Uh, the safety is only on the left side. Uh, left side is safety, um, as you guys can see right there. Uh, so if you guys want a ambidextrous safety, then that's something that you guys are going to have to purchase, you know, separately. Uh, the pistol grip is the MOE uh, MacBook grip. You know, nothing crazy. It does uh, remain with the A2 uh, uh, angle. The one thing I like about this kind of grip is that it does have a compartment right here on the bottom. Uh, if I can open it, there you go. So if you guys want to put any batteries in it or you know any cleaning cleaning uh, tool, uh, I keep the uh, uh, the front adjustment tool for the uh, front sight. So I keep it in there, you know, in case I'm shooting and you know I need something. Let me put this together. There we go. There we go. Uh, the uh, buffer is a carbine buffer and carbine um, uh, carbine buffer spring. A 
carbon buffer tube, nothing crazy, mouse spec. Uh, the stock, it is a uh, MOE MacPool carbine stock, nothing crazy. It does not have any points for uh, QD slings, uh, for a QD attachment, so you guys can do that, but you guys can run a uh, QD sling through here to the side and right here as well. So nothing crazy on this, you know, it's a nice little budget setup. Um, the one thing that a lot of people will complain in California is, you know, if they want to run with a maglog uh, type setup, is that sometimes when you put the maglog on it, it's not going to break enough, especially if the uh, the buffer, I mean the bulk carrier grip is on the back. So I actually haven't had any issues and I'll show you guys. So it's, you know, clear and I break the action open and I still have enough, uh, I still have enough room to eject the magazine so I've never had any issues with mine so I don't know if it's a matter of you know people are not uh, installing it right but I know that sometimes the companies they have different um, tolerances and that's one of the uh, one of the explanations or excuses whatever you guys want to call it uh, that AR Maglo will give you when you buy their setup and you tell them like hey you know uh, my upper and my lower are not separated enough and you know that's what they will tell you uh, but yeah, uh, I really like this rifle. Uh, it's a nice little P mag that I got from my local Aquafel uh, for Halloween. I really like that. Uh, the one thing with uh, maglog uh, rifles is that you are only limited to 10 rounds. However, there is nothing physically stopping you from inputting a 30 round magazine or you know a higher capacity magazine. However, if you do put something that is greater than 10 rounds as far as magazine goes into uh, into the mag well it automatically turns it into an assault rifle now i'm not a lawyer does not legal advice you guys do whatever you guys want to do whatever you guys get caught with that's your guys' thing um but yeah there's nothing you know physically stopping you from putting it in so that's the one thing on this uh i did put a uh six hour romeo msr on this one uh this one came with a combo it was this one and the julia 3 six hour uh, micro magnifier that I got that I have on the uh, AR9. It's a nice little red dot, you know, it still has turrets on the top. It has two uh, night vision sets uh, settings. Um, it has brightness setting all the way to, I think, 11. So it does get pretty, uh, pretty bright. Um, so it's nice, you know, I just got it and it was nice. I was going to put the magnifier on here, but you know, there's not enough space in here. Either I take off the, um, the iron size completely or, you know, I just leave the red dot by itself. So the last thing that I wanted to go over with you guys is the price. So the kit itself, I paid about 480, and then the strip lower cost me about $45. So that's around <clears throat> $530, 525, and then uh, you guys gotta go. If you guys are going with the uh, maglock setup, then you know it all depends on what kind of maglock you guys are going for. Uh, with the air maglock and the kingpin. It usually runs about $75. Um, now I did use a code from Reno May and that, that ended up being, you know, taking off 15% off. So I ended up paying about $70, $75 uh, shipped. Um, so you're looking at about $600 or so for this kind of setup without the red dot included. So not a bad price, you know, so it's a nice little setup. Um, yeah, I mean, no complaints at all. I put about three to four hundred dollars through this uh, setup right now, and you know, other than the first fifty rounds where the handguard came, you know, came loose. And other than the first fifty round, that's not accounting for the three hundred to four hundred that I put through it um, on the hand handguard coming loose. Haven't had any issues, no reliability issues. You know, everything has cycled properly. Everything has, you know, worked well. So yeah, it's a nice little thing to invest in if you guys are looking to get into something budget friendly and you know it's gonna be reliable. So you guys might wanna look into this. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I do really appreciate it. Um, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. If you guys have a comment, if you guys have a question, drop a comment down below. Um, again, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you and have a good day.